Hello, everyone. We are back at it like some crack addicts. God, Sleepy Joe, don't ever say that again. That was just so cringe. What? What was so cringe about that? Do you not get it because we are always consistently making videos like Just shut up, Sleepy Joe. Don't even dare finish that sentence. Just start the video. Swear, I don't know why you are allowed to do any of the intros. Since Sleepy Joe is being a for real cornball right now, let me say that today we are finding some of the hottest, juiciest hot takes in anime. So if you have any hot takes yourself, don't be afraid to drop your opinions down in the comment section below because we would love to check them out and hear them. With that being said, let's get right into the video. You know, this hot take I found is for all my old heads out there. And this is the discussion that older animes look better than the new ones. There's no debate. They are better looking and better overall for me personally. There is just too much mid going on that just blows up for the smallest things. For example, Tokyo Ghoul, like, do people actually think that show is good? Or even the look? If you just talk about Kaneki, then you're invalid. I'm being honest, Parsite looks better and is the better anime, but that's just me saying. So wait, what even is your hot take, Donald? Is it that Tokyo Ghoul is mid and Parasite is better or older anime look better than the newer anime? I told you, Sleepy Joe, I found this hot take and I just agree with it. Yes, older anime has way better feel and mood to the newer baby cartoon fan service anime. Swear all these animes now just love dropping boobs and fan survey in my face like I'm just a horny 11 year old kid. Like, come on, what does this have to do with the damn show? I'm looking at you, Tui Animation. Shoot, I even seen Demon Slayer starting to do it. Crazy how when the hype starts dying down, even Demon Slayer has to resort to fan service. Just pathetic. Older anime have class, emotion, and not over-the-top fan service be shoved down my throat. Yeah, no, there's no way I could even try to start to watch most old animes. The animation is just so outdated, and then they'd be having to fit in like this tiny little box so I can barely see even more. It just becomes unwatchable, like, have you tried to watch the first episode of Bleach? Let me tell you now, it won't be a good time. I never got past the first episode. And say what you want about One Piece, but the old animation actually looks good and isn't a square box that I can barely see. I personally don't even care. There are some old anime that look so amazing and stand up with the test of time, like Inuyasha, for example. And there are some others where it is just unwatchable. Also, I tried to look up a hot take for this video, but you have to believe me, you will see the dumbest stuff. Like, look, someone thinks that saying Hunter x Hunter is average is a hot take. Yeah, that's not even a hot take. That's just a dumb take. Literally, if you say Hunter x Hunter is mid, you might as well just say Naruto is mid too. And let's be honest, nobody's gonna take you serious if you say that. So just move on along on that one. I mean, is he really? Nope, nope, nope. I'm gonna have to stop you right there, Donald. Before you go ahead and say something dumb, you know that Hunter x Hunter is some of the best peak fiction out there. The Hunter exams just hit way too much, plus the amazing ant arc. And don't even get me started on the dark continent. Look at this little Hunter x Hunter fanboy coming to the rescue. Obama, what hot anime hot take do you have before I leave with this Hunter x Hunter fanboy who probably likes touching little boys just like Hisoka? Huh, don't you sleepy Joe? Why do you always have to say dumb stuff like that? Donald, I swear somebody's just gonna slap the taste out of your mouth one day. Well, here I have a hot take for you. How about slice of life anime is just as good or even better than your typical battle shunen anime? Yeah, I don't know about this one. Yeah, you both don't know real class. Let me put you on with a few. Silent Voices, for sure, my favorite slice of life anime movie. If we are talking series, then I would also say Anohana and Orange are also one of my top picks. If you see a common theme with these picks, it's not a coincidence, but all these deal with depression. And you know that's the first word in this channel. Never mind that, but these are beautiful stories that people who maybe are going through some type of depression or just want a good story that is touching and have emotion, then please check out one of these. I have said I promise it would be worth your time. Well, you know what? I will actually go ahead and check out one of those. You said Silent Voice is a movie and Anahana correct. Okay, I got these down. These better not be mid-Obama or me and you're going to have problems. All right, I'm ending the video. With you two slice of life lovebirds over there, go have fun while a real alpha male enjoys his peak. Well, let us know some of your anime hot takes down below, like how Baruto is the most mid piece of work to date. But have a good night, everyone. This is the Big Donald J signing out.